Hello, my name is Christopher Weeks and this is 8 Days a Geek, a podcast that we're starting this very day to discover and discuss all things geeky, Lord of the Rings, Star Trek, Star Wars, Doctor Who, Game of Thrones, what else boys, bit of Harry Potter in there, yeah, whatever yeah, else yeah. Takes, um, takes our fancy and whatever is relevant to the topic and theme that we're discussing. Um, and what this, this particular episode is, this is our very first episode, we're going to introduce ourselves, uh, introduce a little bit about the podcast and the other things that we're going to be talking about, and just let you know sort of what we're all about. And so, I've already said my name is Christopher Weeks, I'm sat here with... AJ Jenks. And... Mr. Benjamin Pryor. Mr. Benjamin Pryor, no less. Ladies, ladies, calm down. So, uh, <laughs> what we're going to talk about, first of all, a little bit about ourselves. Um, so, AJ, I'm going to hand over to you. Can you tell the ladies and gentlemen listening, um, what are you particularly into? How did you get into it? How long have you been into it? Wow. Now, that's, that's yeah. big. Yeah. I know, well, well Ben. We're going yeah, to so, Chris, Chris, so be more specific what you're Chris into said to in, me. in the, in the no, media. No, not, yeah, well, obviously, yeah. that's what Careful I for. imagined. Well, hello there. Maybe that gives away... Get around, get out of me! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that gives away the kind of thing... That was the worst I'm thing into. just impressed. That was really good, what are you talking about? So, so Grievous. Yeah. It's a very difficult one for you. Do it again. Well, great. Uh, set him up. Hello there. General Kenobi! Um, <laughs> you've knocked me so much there, Ben. Uh, Lord of the Rings is my thing. Um, I've always been into it, but also Star Wars. <laughs> it's an interesting one with Star Wars, and I don't know what you guys think about this. Lord of the Rings, the three films, you can't knock any film. Mm, that is true. It's impossible, whereas Star Wars, you, you can easily. Mm. You can easily knock pretty much 60% of the films that have been made. Maybe more. There's Maybe the, more. There, there are flaws in all of them, yeah, in a yeah. way that there aren't in The Lord of the Rings. Um, in fact, actually, yeah, that's a very good point. Let me ask you a follow-up question. Go for it. Uh, with Lord of the Rings, were you into the films first or the books first? Films. Really? De yeah. It was... I was at my half-sister's house and she had the DVD of The Fellowship of the Ring. Didn't see it at the cinema? I didn't. Amazing. I was too young. I think. What was it? PG? Um, I don't know. AJ is I can't criminally remember. young, it must be said. I think more people can relate to watching the films first rather than the books because of the age, the generation that we're in now, you know? I think more people are going to watch the films before they see the book. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, true. In fairness, I saw the film first as well. I saw yeah. The Fellowship of the Ring at the cinema having not read the books. Yeah. Then read all three books before The Two Towers came out. So why did you go then? Why I, did you I, go? I went because a friend invited me to go. Mm. That was literally it. So it wasn't because of any hype? No, 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 no. Like I, I had never heard of it, I knew nothing about it, and I was just blown away, as you can imagine. That's Did you know the running time, though, before you went in there? Or... No, I didn't. No, okay. I wasn't that interested in that. Um, when did it come out? Um, 2001. Yeah. So I was 11. Oh. So I wasn't into running times at that point. Yeah, I was six. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Pratt, you were yet to be born? I hadn't been born yet. Yeah. No, no clear that up. I'm, I'm, how old are you? 24. I'm 25 in two weeks. So 24, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm also 24, um, so I would have been uh, six as well, maybe five. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, you would have been, yeah, pretty much the same. So definitely wouldn't have been But five. that's why I couldn't go to the cinema to watch it. Yeah. But Return of the King, on the other hand, I did go to the cinema and watch right. it. Right, 2003. And then that was a big difference, because when you just see it, oh. when you see the big, especially Return of the King, yeah. Because that's just such a massive... Well, there are massive moments in each one. But look, look, we can't go too yeah. deep into it. That's yeah, not that's what not... this is about. It's too easy to do. Yeah. But it was Lord of the Rings that first got me. Um, Star Trek's a big one for me. Yeah. I'm a massive Star Trek fan. Yeah. And Star Wars, since watching Revenge of the Sith in uh, 2005. Really? That's what got me into it. And then my dad bought me the VHS special edition box set. Yeah, was oh. that the one with the, the black and the gold? That's the oh, one. I had, one of that. I had mm -hmm. that as well. Yeah. With Darth Vader's face that slid apart. Yeah. Oh my God, that was, that was awesome. I don't know what's happened to that. Yeah. Fascinating, AJ. Thank you for sharing with the group. Hello there. <laughs> Let's not go into that. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna do my bit. You, prior. Um, yeah. So, I'm Ben. Um, 24, as discussed. 24, as discussed earlier. Same age as AJ. Uh, he's not 25, so... Two weeks. Um, I am a huge fan of the uh, of the Marvel Universe, actually. 
We haven't actually mentioned this. No, we've not. Yeah, yeah. I, I, right. I, I noticed that, and that's why I wanted to uh, just say, yeah, put sensible. the love in there, you know. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love both the Marvel Cinematic Universe and uh, the comic and the book universe as well, which is just an extended version. Um, yeah, I absolutely uh, love it. Anything about it? So that's your number one. That's my jam. Prior, oh, you're writing your own book. I am, yeah. Novel. Nothing to do with Marvel, though. I'm no, but, it's, no. but you are doing the illustration in it and... Yes. You do the work. illustrations as well. Well, I I well I'm not doing the illustration. I'm doing the concept art for it. Oh, okay. Mm. And then I'm writing the novel at the moment. Um, yeah, about 11,000 words in at the moment. So it's on its way. That's hefty. What's the target? Uh, about uh, 60,000. Nothing. So quite a lot. Who's that? <laughs> Why is it that people always say me when you ask who's that? Yeah. Oh, sorry, no. Thank you. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you're in a dressing room. <laughs> oh, yeah, we haven't talked about that. Yeah, pe actually, we haven't given people an idea of, of uh, the what our surroundings are yeah. like. Yeah. Um, shall I? Yes, yeah. Chris, okay, please. So we are currently on tour. We are uh, actors and musicians and actor musicians. Uh, and we're on tour with the Buddy Holly story, and we're currently in Inverness. Mm. I was out by Loch Ness earlier, boys, and good gracious, it was cold. I saw um, obviously, yeah. it's the 3rd of February, as we are recording today. And, uh, yeah, the um, temperature definitely reflects that month, it must be said. Mm. Um, but, yeah, this is how we... Well, AJ and I have met before. I had talked to Ben before, uh, but only on the phone, talking about music things, gigs. Yeah. And we met doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we found our shared love of... Of all things geeky, which yeah. is quite I nice. Really. It's a big bonus to the tour, don't you think, boys? I, yeah. had, I had heard of Prior. Oh, we've all through, heard through of Through the grapevine. Through, through the grapevine. Yeah, yeah. Chris, me and you went to the Arctic together. We did. It was cold there as well. Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly, <laughs> not as cold as here. <laughs> now thinking about it, it is a bit weird. You don't get many people that are on tour with a musical that are also massive nerds no. as well. It's not the um, the stereotype at all, yeah. even of actors, full stop. Although, I don't know, maybe actors are quite nerdy about, at least about their craft. Yeah. But um, not necessarily about the traditional, yeah. you know, geeky yeah, things. things. Yeah. In the same way that we are. Mm. I find it's quite difficult to find people full stop, regardless of what... what friends? Have. Yeah, people. No, yeah. I'm just going out and I can't see anyone. No, yeah, sorry, people that are into similar things to you in the workplace, in, in lots of different workplaces. I don't think it's just for actors. I think... Yeah. Um, because it is such a such a thing that you have to be so invested in for to to take it you know this yeah. seriously into well absolutely and that much. actually that makes me think something that I particularly like about these genres that we're talking about the Lord of the Rings Marvel Star Wars all of that is that there is such a wealth and a depth mm -hmm. of lore and um, deeper information available to you outside of the films yeah. or the TV show or whatever the main medium is. Do you know what I mean? Do you think that's more the attraction, or do you think it's... I, I think people like to lose themselves in the world. That's yeah. what gets me with Game of Thrones. Yeah. Is, oh, yeah. Is that I very much love every season up until season seven. Yeah. And not all of season seven, but I still now, even though it finished a while ago, I will still listen to a lot of the lore. Yeah. And read up on a lot of the law because mm. there is just so much of it. And at this point, of course, the seventh no, wait, the last two books are no yeah. are not out yet. They're still being written. So um And I believe George The Winds of Winter and the um Spring Spring. Um, What's it called? I can't remember. Something of Spring. Let me look at us. Something. Why are you doing that? I will talk more about law yeah. the, the power of it itself. If we look at things like Harry Potter and that universe, the yeah. fans quite literally build their own lore, their own their own uh, backstories behind things, which is then sometimes, if they're lucky, confirmed or not confirmed by JJ. Yeah. And that is probably what's so exciting to them is that they can use their imagination to add their own little bits of tiny lore here and there that really paint a picture for them. And then JK might go, actually, yeah, I was thinking that sounds great yeah. as well. And then it's that kind of input from the fans to the authors and I think that's powerful in its yeah, yeah, and that is definitely something that's come along. Obviously Tolkien never had that because he never had that sort of exactly. correspondence, instant correspondence. Yeah. That, the um, medium of Twitter. Twitter, yeah, yeah, Twitter is the powerful thing. It was a dream of spring. Of a dream of spring, that's yeah. it. Yeah, very, very excited about that. And that in a way, one of the positives that I take from the TV show, which like you, I felt sort of lost its way, um, it got me very excited for the books because yeah. 
it, it was only when they started to sort of diverge that maybe they got slightly out of their depth and they weren't quite it able to they season, weren't cultivating yeah. anymore they were creating you know it was season six where it started slightly going to mess yeah. still had some great ep- like oh yeah yeah bob yeah episode was massive yeah, yeah. but um yeah there's still some slight like when they were going on and on mm. with the faith and it just got a bit boring that does happen in the books as well um, yeah i mean yeah that's true yeah I, I, I don't know maybe just the series just even though it was only what 10 episodes yeah HBO. They yeah. did say it was going to be longer and uh, longer episodes uh, than the uh, than any other season because oh, of yeah. the lack of episodes and it wasn't really. Oh yeah, good. in the last season, is that what you're talking about? There were eight, weren't there? Yeah, eight in the last. And ten season. in the previous ones. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, there was there was there was released a statement. There was, was, was six, wasn't there in the final? Was there six? Season eight, yeah. Oh, even worse. There was it? There was seven, seven in season uh, series seven. Mm. And six yeah. and season eight, which it, we all know it certainly wasn't enough. And uh, well, George R. R. Martin has said that himself that he wanted to carry it on. Yeah, and he put out a public statement recently yeah. saying you've seen the end of Game of Thrones, but you haven't seen my end yeah. or something like yeah. that. And that, I thought that was really. But uh, at the um, end of the day, it's his. Yeah, it's oh, his yeah. end. Of course it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. But one thing we haven't talked about. Go on, just on our little introduction, please. Things that we don't like. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Big... yeah. What? As in. Think... Um, so nerdy things franchises that yeah that we oh, actually are um, oh, a fan of i don't think anyone's ever asked that question <laughs> what <laughs> don't you like yeah let's talk about things well, we really don't i like. mean i'm i'm planning on not just praising stuff on these right. podcasts that's very you actually i'm planning yeah. on really i like that it's treading yeah, yeah. treading um, down it sounds like you've already got something in mind then hell yeah what is it? <laughs> come on i'm gonna come out and just say it. the hobbit trilogy was just dire okay <laughs> <laughs> was just Dire. Look, no, you mean the books or you mean the films? The f- oh, no. There's only one book. No, the book oh, yeah, sorry, the is book. incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The trilogy is is awful. Yeah, okay. Like, so bad. But I love the actors <coughs> in it, so I'm torn but in it. The, the actors yeah. are great, but then you can go and see those actors and actually something that you Ladies and gentlemen, like. the Buddy Holly yeah. story come do this is your call. This is your call to stage for physical warm-up. This is your call to stage for physical warm-up. Thank you. And with that note... <laughs> <laughs> and with that note, yes, that comes to the end of our introduction. You only found out what I hate. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Tune in next week. Yeah. <laughs> there's, right. there's more than enough. <laughs> there's a lot coming. Uh, we will be releasing uh, an episode later this week, which will be on The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, mm-hmm. the film, and possibly the book. Oh, I'm sure there'll be bits in there. Of course. So we hope you enjoyed our introduction. I'm signing off. AJ Jenks. Mr. Ben Pryor. <laughs> Master Christopher Weeks. Right. Well, I'm oh, the oldest one, but... Yeah, well, one up in me. Thank you.